How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make custom body. And yes, we're going to make a full on custom body that also incorporates the head. So that way you don't have to bother covering the neck and all those kinds of stuff. As you can see, this head with the neck and everything, it matches the body. And this is the original metahuman body. And just to show you that this actually works, let's get into the controllers. You can see here, it's actually work like, you know, like any metahuman rig that's out there. Let me get rid of the angle. Yeah. And oh, by the way, these are some clothes that are for metahuman. So at least the pants fit the metahuman. Probably the, the top doesn't fit him because his body type is completely different, but the pants do because it's Cape Leg Day. But uh, anyways, we're going to talk about that. And as you can see, everything is working fine. And we have all the controllers. We even have the face controller. So like this. I can open my mouth. This is a scan of myself, by the way. Um, that's probably me if I didn't have pizza so often. You can see there's a clear difference between the MetaHuman, even though it's the same scan. Uh, and we're going to talk about some of the things that Mesh and MetaHuman does and why you probably want to do your own workflow. So let's get started. All right. Now let's get things out of the way and let's let's talk a little bit about Mesh to MetaHuman. So when you're using Mesh to MetaHuman or even MetaHuman Animator, because you can do this with MetaHuman Animator 2.0, uh, what you're going to get is uh, something like this. And you can see there's a big difference between these two. Of course, I adapt adapted the neck to a much, you know, uh, ripped body, which I don't look like that in real life. But what I, I I'm don't look like this either. For some reason, when you go into the MetaHuman Creator and it adapts your uh, scan, because this is an actual scan in my head that I use for this one, it it kind of like changes the morphology of things and. This is this why you get this result. And, but still, one of the things I don't like about Mesh to MetaHuman, and that is not, not follow the tool, it's an amazing tool. It's probably made to be used as a template and not as a character creator. Um, one of its limit is that the scans, they, they tend to wrap around a pretty design um, geometry, which we're also going to talk about. We need some geometry for this. The way that it adapts is and the way that it wraps it to the MetaHuman geometry makes it so that when you get into creator, it actually changed the proportions somehow and you don't get 100% what you got in. When you do it with Metapipe, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to the Metapipe channel so you can see the full process on how to set it up in Maya. We're going to go into Maya in, in a second, but uh, he goes deep into how to set this up. So I don't want to take away from the beautiful things that he shows on his video. So you go to his channel. I'm just going to show you how this works. So let's go into Maya to, to show you what happens. All right, here we are in Maya. And yes, you're going to need Maya for this. Otherwise, this is this is just not going to work. And I loaded a template just like he explains into one of his videos. I just made a template that I just bring my custom meshes into here. So you can see this is from a MetaHuman. And one of the, the particular things about using this process, and yes, this may be a limitation for some, is the fact that you do have to use the geometry of the metahumans. The reason being is if you don't, then you're not going to get all the blend shapes, especially for the face. And when it comes to the body, it's also the same thing. You need to use the topology of the metahuman. Otherwise, um, this, this tool doesn't work. And there's a lot of other things you will have to do. Now, that I wouldn't call it a limitation because you can wrap this geometry to everything. This geometry is dense enough that you can um, create and deform everything as your heart content. So you can take this into ZBrush and do what I did, which is I wrapped it around the scan of my face and that's how I achieved it. And the rest of the body, I just wrapped it to an actual body. I'm not going to show that because that is a very, very long process. And uh, people don't like it when I go into ZBrush for some reason. Those videos don't get many views. Now, let me get here the custom meshes. All right, here are my custom meshes. Let me add a material here so you can see what's going on. There you go. So this is my custom mesh. 
and this is my custom head where is it this one here's my custom head and as you can see they're a little bit different than what we have underneath so we need to have this adapt now you can see this is the metapipe ui and again you can go to his channel link in the description just so you know how to set this up but i already click on load the dna this is one of the things you have to do when you have the template uh batch import i just imported everything and all i have to do is select the head select the left eye right eye body and then click on join transformation now it's going to take a little bit i'll be right back when it's done all right and it's done as you can see um it actually took less than 30 seconds to do it i i think that depends on your machine i don't know but that that was pretty quick and now i have this ripped body with my uh actual head scan that you got over here and nothing is working just yet because you have to save the dna this has to do with the whole um background on how metahuman works so now I need to click save the DNA. Once you save the DNA, the body is going to disappear. This usually takes a little bit longer than the joint transformation. So don't, don't think Maya is crushing. It's not. Just let it be. And it, it'll be there in like at least le in less than a minute. All right. It finished saving the DNA. And as you can see, there's nothing there. Oh, wait. If you scroll down, there's your head. Um, like I said, it for some reason, it focus here. So don't don't be afraid that usually happens your body disappears because it, it's just part of the process now all you have to do after you've saved the dna you have to click on prepare to export and you can see it changed the name so it's uh correctly matched to what the metahuman needs so you don't have any problems when it's an unreal engine now after you prepare to export you can build your body but you need to uh bring it over again so i'm just going to batch import and i'm going to select the body here there you go. Still doesn't have any material. Let's assign one. There it is. And now with the body selected, we just click on build body. It's going to take a second, just like um, the saving DNA, probably a little bit less, but it will just add all the rigging to the body. And as you can see, I don't know if you've noticed, but this is exactly the same geometry of the metahuman. So you must use the metahuman geometry for this to work. And now we're done. It has a little error here. It doesn't matter. It actually worked. Like the author of MetaPipe says, don't panic. So we're going to click on this just to show you that everything is working fine and dandy. We grab this bone. Go like this. A little bit slow, choppy, but it works. And let's just go to the face. So if I click on the face controller, you can see that it does work. Open mouth. How do all the eyes work? And everything works. Now, up until this point, all you have to do is click on export. But before you do that, you have to see what you're going to do. There is an update to MetaPipe that will uh, allow you to use the LODs. I usually don't use LODs for any reason. Um, so I'm just going to go here. Geometry, you can see that it actually generated all the LODs. I'm going to get rid of those. And I'm also going to go to body. Body group. And you can see that it has all the LODs just Remember, you have to leave LD zero, otherwise you're going to delete your whole body. Um, again, there's a new version of this that deals with LODs, and we'll talk about that in another video. But for now, just know that you have to delete the LODs because I'm using the 1.2. The other version is still in beta, I think. But after that, um, one of the things that I've seen the, the author of MetaPipe do is he deletes all the eye things and like the eyelashes and everything. Now, if you go, let me hide the joints just to show you something real quick. Cause I think I did this differently than he does and it still works. So when you have your meta human here, you can see that it has a couple of different parts that you usually wouldn't have. So these are the LD eyelashes. This thing here is the eye shell. So this would be your eye occlusion in Unreal Engine. And if we actually go into the geometry, you see there are other things like 
uh, teeth. There's saliva. There's eye. There's eyes. So each eyes, you, you see that I'm selecting the eyes here, but you don't see them selected on the viewport because the eye shell is actually in front. So this is what's creating that occlusion thing. And it's this is a transparent material in Unreal. So there's the eyelashes, there's the eye edge, and there's the cartilage. You want to add a material for each and every one of this. He deletes some in one of his videos, and I don't know if he's changed workflow on that, but what I tested is you can actually add a material to each and every single one of them. And one once you're in Unreal, you just inherit, uh, get the materials from the actual med human. All right. So you're going to need a material for every single one of these. So make sure you add those. You're going to need a material for the body and the head. Then you're ready to export. You actually don't have to select anything. That was my mistake. Um, you don't have to select anything. Just click on export and it will export it out to the output folder uh, where you have your MetaPipe Studio saved. Now let's go back to Unreal. Now here in Unreal Engine, one of the things you see, and let me just select this guy. Let's go to blueprint, edit blueprint. Now he does have a video on uh, how to get the metahuman here. So again, I don't want to take traffic from his video, but just want to show you uh, how this works and why I told you to give everything material. So if you go into face, you're going to see that I have one material for the face, one material for the teeth. I have some for the eyes and I have the eye occlusion, which is the eye shell. Now there's also the eyelash lowest LOD, which Again, you can delete those because you're going to be using the groom if you use LOD zero like I do. There's a lacrimal fluid, which is the edge, the eye edge, and there's also the cartilage. So all of these materials are in the MetaHuman um, folder because you have to have downloaded a MetaHuman for this to work. So you will have those materials to play with. Now, if you saw my previous video to this, you'll know that I got the MetaHuman grooms to work on my custom head. And the way you do that, you can go watch that video. It's actually a video previous to this one where I actually adapted. Uh, well, this MetaHuman didn't have a beard or a mustache, but I did adapt everything else, like the fuzz, the eyebrows, the eyelashes, the hair. The fuzz is really important. It's what gives you that realistic look once you get up close. And there you have it. Once you are done, you can Add your metahuman and some of the things, if you have metahuman clothing, maybe some of the metahuman clothing will fit. But I think the custom bodies makes it look uh, a little bit, I don't know, it, it kind of gets away from the usual metahuman look that most metahumans have. So now you know that there is a way that is actually easy, only requires a couple of clicks. Unfortunately, it's not free. Thing, good things in life are not free, unfortunately. If you can afford it, I highly suggest you do it. The customizing the metahuman this way is amazing. It's going to give you great bodies. Now, that being said, um, when it comes to custom clothing and things like a sci-fi suit. So if I go into um, one of my metahumans over here, bear with me for a second. So if you see this one right here, you can see that is myself inside a spacesuit. This is actually a different kind of rig than the metahuman rig. There's no need for me to add the metahuman rig to this skeleton, which was already well built, because why would you? There's there's no reason. I'm going to be mocapping capping with this guy later. So the good the reason to still do it this way is if you have a, a need for the whole body to show. So let's say you have a warrior that's probably showing a little bit of chest or something below the neck then you're probably going to have to go with this uh, route. Otherwise, you can go this route. However, the reason why I still chose to go this route is because I want in my short film, I'm going to be scanning actual people and I want them to be in the short film and I want them to look as their actual uh, human counterpart. And I find that Mesh Meta Human gives you a little bit of um, distorted form. So. Most likely, I'm going to keep using this for the head all the time. The body, it depends on the kind of rig that, it ha that I have and the situations that I will apply it to. Thanks, everybody, for watching the whole video. If you watched till this point, thank you a lot. Thanks a lot to my Patreons. You help a lot this channel because YouTube doesn't pay very well. My revenue went down for some reason, and my Patreons are helping me a ton. Uh, so they're all on screen. There are two levels of Patreon if you want to subscribe. 
please do. But if for some reason you can, then just leaving a like and leaving a comment for the YouTube algorithm goes a long way. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, there's a lot of people follow me on there lately, and we have a lot of fun talking about all things Unreal. There's also the Discord where you can ask questions. And I'll see you in the next one.